Hello everybody, welcome to this fifth example of where we're going to compute a perfect Bayesian equilibrium. This is going to be Selton's horse. So this is the game that we are going to be solving um, where we have three players here uh, in this context. So we have the following four steps that we're going to follow. We're going to write this game in a induced strategic form. We're going to look for all possible subgame perfect Nash equilibria. We're then going to solve for the beliefs that support possible perfect Bayesian equilibria, updating them whenever possible. And lastly, we're going to define uh, the Bayesian equilibrium of this game. So we're first going to write this game in a induced strategic form. In this case, we're going to have player one being our row player and player two and player three uh, being our columns players. So our first payoff is going to be that of player one and our second two payoffs are going to be that of player two and player three. We're then going to find all subgame perfect Nash equilibria. The reason why I'm saying subgame perfect Nash equilibria is because there is no proper subgame in this game. So every Nash equilibria that we're going to find is going to be subgame perfect. And we're going to use the tick and bob procedure to go and do that. Now, the tick and bob procedure is going to be a little bit different here um, because we're going to have to fix the actions of two players at a time and define the best response of the other player. So we're going to first fix the actions of player one and player two to find the best response of player three, then player one and player three three and define the best response of player two. And then lastly, we're gonna fix the actions of player two and player three and define the best response of player one. If we do that, we'll find the subgame perfect Nash equilibrium of this game is gonna be where player one is playing D, player two is playing A prime, and player three is playing L. And the second Nash equilibrium is gonna be where player one is playing A, player two is playing A prime, and player three is playing R. Now we're gonna to have to solve for the belief that supports this possible Bayesian equilibrium and update it whenever or possible. So the way we're gonna do that is that we're gonna compute the expected payoff of player three at each strategy. First assigning those beliefs at each information set, we'll see that uh, the expected payoff of player three playing L, meaning pooling on L in this case, would be if 2P. And for player three playing R, they would get a payoff of one minus P. Now, the on the path equilibrium for player three is gonna be where they're playing D, A prime, and L. Thus, the belief that supports this equilibrium is where P is greater than or equal to one third. Conversely, for the second uh, subgame perfect Nash equilibria, we have where player one is playing A, player two is playing A prime, and player three is playing R. And that would be supported by the belief of where P is gonna be less than or equal to one third. Now, the actions of player one or player two have no clear dominant strategy with respect to player three's actions. So there is no way to go and update player three's belief in this context. So that's it. We now have to define our perfect Bayesian equilibrium and we'll define our perfect Bayesian equilibrium as follows, where one equilibria is going to be where player one is playing D, player two is playing A prime, and player three is playing L. And that's supported by the belief where P is greater than or equal to one third. And the second perfect Bayesian equilibrium is gonna be where player one is playing A, player two is playing A prime, player three is playing R. And that's gonna be supported by the belief of P being less than or equal to one third. What's interesting here is that no equilibria are dropped since the beliefs exist to support either one of these strategies. And the expected payoff of player one or player two is not informative for updating these beliefs. So we've generated no refinement in this context.